I'm involved in hiring. And whenever I ask a student, to go, you know, the thing is, students, they write the CV, they all look the same. So I really don't look at them anymore. The letters, they all look the same. Then they send me the grades. Not really interested in that either. I just want to see them and see whether they are ambitious and creative. But what I noticed was that I get these people, they are like 20, 22 year old. So I'm 50, almost 50, I'm 49. But sometimes I have a feeling, God, I'm talking to a 75 year old here in front of me. This guy could be my dad. And, and I said, you know, why are you doing this? Because I wanted to hire, seriously, we want to hire millennials. Mm-hmm. And I hate this millennial because I don't think it's, it's age related, it's a kind of mindset. But, but okay, we, when we talk about millennials, we talk about younger people, so the younger generation. The generation. And I want them because I know that the world is changing and I need their input. I believe in the best idea wins culture, you know, very flat hierarchy where these people, where we co-create. So I want them to become part of the team as a millennial, not as a 22-year-old acting like a 70-year-old. That makes no sense to me. So I basically had told them this, and I wrote this. It was kind of an open letter to millennials. And, and the responses were interesting. I think most people agreed and said, yeah, that's right, and we should be millennials. Because I think millennials should be millennials. So they should leverage you know, the tech knowledge that they have. They should be adventurous. They should be ambitious, all that stuff. And, uh, but then uh, some said, well, you, me, make, you make a mistake because if we don't adapt and when we have these interviews and we don't act like a Gen X person, we will not be hired. I've been thinking about this and I've discussed this with many of my colleagues and I don't think that's true actually because many organizations these days, they know that they will be disrupted. Look at banks, for instance. They can hardly get talent because talent either want to work at Google or one of the other, Amazon, or, and most of them prefer that, a startup, a fintech company or a tech fin company, but not like a traditional bank. So what these banks are doing, they set up subsidiaries as far away as possible from headquarters, but try to get talent, including the millennials, to be millennial in order to disrupt the bank. So basically, they set up a subsidiary with a purpose of disrupting the parent company, which is kind of interesting. But we all, all companies in the world will be disrupted. They all have different things. So for instance, I will work at Philips Lighting. So we, uh, we sell light bulbs and uh, we are pretty big. But these things are now LED and they last for 15 years. So if your business model is just selling and replacing lamps, you'll be out of business very soon. So you have to transform to, from a traditional lighting company to to an internet of things company but in order to do this you need to get input from millennials all people have to work together so when we hire millennials we need a millennial not a millennial acting like a gen x or baby boomer DigitalOcean offers the simplest, most developer-friendly cloud platform. It's optimized to make managing and scaling apps easy with an intuitive API, multiple storage options, integrated firewalls, load balancers, and more. From predictable pricing to flexible configurations to world-class customer support, you'll get access to all the infrastructure services you need to grow. Plus, DigitalOcean's community provides over 2,000 cloud-agnostic tutorials to help you stay up-to-date with the latest open-source software, languages, and frameworks. Get started on DigitalOcean with a free $100 credit at do.co slash hackernoon.